Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we're going to be doing a drag build and tune for the 2014 Lamborghini Huracan. So if you enjoyed the video or find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, so we're bringing our Lamborghini Huracan up to the festival drag strip so we can see how fast it is by the speed trap at the end. So pulling it up to the line here, we're going to rev this car to about 6,000 RPM, hold it there, and launch with a tiny bit of wheel spin, up into 4th, now 5th, and we cross the line at 287 kilometers an hour. Alright, so now we'll take our 2014 Hurricane into the Festival Drag Strip race. So we can see just how fast it is against other cars as well as getting a time by the end. So, launching here, already into second and third, up into fourth, currently destroying everyone else. Finished first, easily, and we got a time of 8.1 seconds. Alright, so now that we've seen just how fast our Hurricane is, we'll now take it into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade and tune it. Alright, so if we come into the custom upgrade menu with our stock 2014 Lamborghini Hurricane, then down to the conversions tab, we don't need to touch the engine spots with this car. So, we are already all-wheel drive as well, but we can come into the Aspiration and put on the twin turbos as well as the wide body kit so that we can run wider tyres in the front and rear. Then if we come over to the tyres and rims next, we can swap on the drag tyre compound as well as making the front and rear tyres super duper wide see that they are very meaty and then if we come into the rim style we can swap on some lighter weight rims we're just going to put on these Volk racing wheels right here so back out of tires and rims now we'll come into the drivetrain so here we'll be putting on the race clutch the race transmission and the race driveline so back out of drivetrain and now into platform and handling. We'll be putting on the rally springs as well as race front and rear anti-roll bars and then the race weight reduction. So back out of platform and handling, now into engine. So we're maxing out everything here. So race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, race valves, race engine block, race twin turbos, race intercooler, and then finally the race flywheel. So that's it as far as upgrades go, so you can go ahead and apply all of these. So now that we've upgraded our cart, we can come into the tuning menu down here. So first I'll show you the metric tune and then I'll show you the differences for the imperial tune, as well as leaving the tune code on screen now. So for the metric tune, the front and rear tire pressures, you want to set these down to 1.0 bar, just like that in the front, and same for the rear. So next, if we come over to the gearing, we'll set our final drive down to 3.55, just like that. Then for first, we're going to set this up to 4.0, just like that. Then for second, we can bring this up to 2.75, just like that. Then third, we're going to bring this up to 1.80. Fourth, we'll bring this up to 1.35. And then fifth, we'll bring it up to 1.10. Sixth, up a couple to 0.89. And seventh, we're going to set this down to 0.67. So then next, if we come over to the alignment, we're going to set our front and rear camber angles back to zero degrees, just like that. Then the front cast angle, will set this up to seven degrees. So next, if we come over to the springs for the 
front, we'll set this to 36.0. Just come a bit down to there. There you go, that's 36.0. And in the rear, we're gonna set this up to 83.0, just like that. So next, if we come over to the dampening tab here, we're gonna set our front rebound stiffness down to 2.0. And in the rear, we'll set it up to 5.8. Then for the front bump stiffness, we're gonna set this down to 1.3 and in the rear, we'll set it up to 4.7. So next, we've come over to the aero, we'll set our front down force all the way to speed, which is 50, like that. Then next, if we come over to the differential, we'll set our front acceleration up to 80%, just like that. And then in the rear, we'll set it up to 90%. And then finally, for the center balance, we'll set this up to 74%. So that's it as far as the metric tune goes. Now I'll show you the differences for the Imperial tune. All right, so as far as differences go for the Imperial tune is you want 15 PSI in both the front and rear tires. Then if you come over to the springs tab, you want 201.5 in the front and 464.5 in the rear. And then also for the aero, you'll want 110 for the front downforce. So that's it as far as differences go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right guys, so this has been a drag build and tune for the 2014 Lamborghini Huracan. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.